Hello my loves, welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So I changed the view. I hope everyone likes it. Please leave a comment. Let me know um, if this works out a little bit better for you guys, okay? All right, so clarity, guidance, love messages, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpio, please, Spirit. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my... <coughs> Scorpios, please, Holy Spirit. So we have the Four of Wands. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Three of Wands. Scorpio, on this side, so under the deck, we have the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. So I feel like promises, <coughs> excuse me, promises have been made here, okay? So I don't know if this is your side, Scorpio, or if this is your person's side, but I feel like promises were made here, okay? And I feel like whoever's on this side doesn't want to say anything, like they don't want to ask questions, but I feel like someone's getting tired of waiting. The Four of Wands here, someone was promised marriage, stability, moving in together, a family, like someone here was promised high very high levels of commitment but i and i feel like there's a sense of i don't want to i don't want to be like you know well hey when is this happening you know what i'm saying but also someone's getting really really tired of waiting someone is getting very tired of waiting and with the page of wands i feel like these were promises that were made in the heat of the moment <clears throat> yeah i feel like these were promises that were made in the heat of the moment It could be that this person, you know, like they just said what they had to say and it fizzled out, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know, it, there's this sense of someone not wanting to ask. Like, I don't want to say nothing. I don't want to. But they did say that, you know, we were getting married or they did say that we were together or, you know, there's a sense of like, you know, I don't mean to pry, but, you know, is this ever going to happen? You know what I'm saying? Spirit, tell me about Scorpio, please. Tell me about this Four of Wands for Scorpio, please. We've got the paid, excuse me, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Leo Sag Aries energy. So at one point, someone here was super passionate about this connection, wanting to commit, wanting to like someone was really strong on the hubby and wifey and you know, I, I want to move in, I want to buy a house, I want to get married. And now with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, it's like someone doesn't talk about it anymore. They're not pursuing it anymore. There's no more uh, pursuit of this high level of commitment. The High Priestess and the Four of Swords in the reverse. Someone's tired of waiting. Someone is tired of waiting, but they're being quiet about it. They're not saying anything. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Scorpio, please. The Ten of Wands for Scorpio, please. We have the Seven of Wands. I feel like someone, I feel like someone is in their head saying, don't say it, don't say it, just be quiet, just, you know, we could deal with, you know, don't say it. You want to say something, don't say it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like these are all the thoughts and someone's like, shh, shh, don't say it. I know, like, you know, I'm fed up, but don't say anything. Just, just don't say anything. Tell me about the Three of Wands here for Scorpio, please. <clears throat> Six of Swords in the reverse. I feel like someone is wondering because... Okay, so I'm kind of getting a love bombing vibe here, okay? I feel like at one point in time, we're dealing with somebody that was very passionate about marriage, relationship, family, having kids, the whole nine, right? And now someone's feeling very lonely, very, like, they're feeling the absence of all that passion. Like, like someone came on very strong in the beginning, and now someone here is feeling, like, bored, neglected. They're not feeling that passion, and they're wondering will that ever return will it ever go back to the way it was you see what i'm saying but they're not saying anything <clears throat> they're not saying anything clarity guidance and love messages for my scorpios please clarity guidance and love messages for my scorpios please Let's see here. So we have the nine of pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-empress energy, 
And we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Justice card, Libra Energy. And we have the Six of Cups. Oh no. All right. We have the Two of Wands under the deck, the Two of Pentacles. Oh goodness. Okay. So, Scorpio, on this side, what we have is a situation of. I mean, nine. So look, let me just show you in the first place here. One person is with the four of wands energy, which is stability, commitment, very strong soulmate energy. And this person comes up as single, independent. Nine of pentacles is a single energy, as single as you can be. With the Seven of Pentacles here, I feel like this person um, is really only investing in themselves. With the Justice card and the Six of Cups, this could be a past life karmic that you're dealing with, guys. Um, <clears throat> or I feel like this person is still somebody that is wanting to reconcile with an ex or wanting to make things right with an ex. With the Two of Wands here, someone here, Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, someone here is still trying to decide if they want to move forward. So I feel like this may have been a rebound situation, okay? Possibly, doesn't have to be. But I feel like someone here like loved bombed a situation and then pulled back. And the reason for that is because with the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, someone here is having nostalgia. They're thinking about an ex and someone here maybe is wanting to, um, you know, do right with an ex, do right by an ex or make things right with a past person possibly. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles, please. The Nine of Pentacles, please. We've got uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Wands in the reverse. So what's happening here, guys, is someone is in love with an ex, and there's no one else that compares. There's no competition here. Okay? There's no competition here. <clears throat> See, there's an ex here that someone is crazy about. Scorpio, there's an ex here that someone is crazy about. And with the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like, you know, maybe this ex is... Um <clears throat> this person sees the ex as pre-empress material. They're in love with the ex. Like, they cannot compete. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. The tower in the reverse, Aries, Scorpionic energy. This person is thinking about how things ended with this X. Tell me about the Justice card. We've got the Star card, Aquarian energy. Tell me about the Six of Cups and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This could be someone that your person was married to. Yeah, someone wants to take a, the leap of faith. Someone here is still in love. We've got the King to the Queen of Cups here. Someone here is still in love with a past person. And they want to communicate. They want to, they want a second chance. I feel like what's happening here, guys, is somebody left an ex that they were still in love with. Someone here left an ex in a pretty horrible way with the tower in the reverse. Like, you know, someone left in a way where it, there's no way it could come back together. But they're being divinely guided to, <coughs> to, to, um, they're being divinely guided to apologize to this person. Now, this could be an ex-wife or an ex-husband with the Hierophant here. It was definitely a very strong soul contract or marital contract, a contract of some type, of some type, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person here is still in love with a past person. So this person here maybe left their relationship and got with this person here very quickly and love bombed a little bit. Do you see what I'm saying? Like really went over the top and now this relationship here is starting to drop. Do you see what I'm saying? This relationship here is starting to drop and this person cannot get the X off of their mind. So let's see what we have happening here. Spirit, tell me about the challenge for Scorpio, please. Tell me about the challenge for Scorpio, please. We've got the Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the star, Aquarian energy. Someone here wants to communicate. They want to start over. <coughs> An apology might be happening here. Nine of Cups and the star card, Aquarian energy. 
Yeah, someone here, someone here is following their heart, I'm feeling. Someone here is following their heart. The challenge is going to be that someone here wants to communicate. They want to open up the lines of communication. Tell me about, okay, I'm, I'm going to take that in. I don't like the way those flipped out. Tell me about the outcome here, please, Spirit. Tell me about the outcome here, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Tell me about the outcome here, please, Spirit. <clears throat> the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. The Three of Cups. And the Hermit, Virgo, Energy. I feel like the outcome here is somebody is coming to see Page of Swords. I was just going to say coming to the realization that they still have love for a past person, that they still have love. They want to reconcile. It took separation for this person to realize how much they love the ex. But someone here is still is still in love with their past person. And they do want to come together with this person. So Scorpio, I don't know, you know, what side you you're on here. You know, you may have left an ex and gotten with someone else and it started hot and heavy. And now this connection is starting to fall. It's starting to drop. And, you know, someone's like, listen, I really want my person back. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know. You have to take that as it resonates. Spirit, tell me about Scorpio, please. Tell me about Scorpio, please. We've got deserving, we've got your higher self, and taking steps. I feel like, yeah, I feel like someone's in this energy of why shouldn't I be happy? If my past person makes me happy, I should be happy and I should be able to, you know, do what I want to do and take steps towards. I feel like someone here has ascended. I feel like someone here has learned their lesson. They see the error of their ways. They want to go back and do right. You see what I'm saying? They want to take the steps to do or give the apology that someone deserves. Do you understand what I'm saying? And with great achievement here, I feel like that's going to be big because when this connection came apart with the ex, they jumped into a new connection right away and, you know, just kind of tried to forget about this past person. But that's not the case. You know, divine guidance here, the, the, the divine did not allow somebody to forget the apology that was due or what happened. And I feel like now what's happening, someone wants to operate from their higher self. They want to come in. They want to apologize. It's almost like lesson learned. You see what I'm saying? Lesson learned. Like someone here is coming to the realization on how much they, they love their person, this ex. So we've got caring connection. We've got broken heart. And we've got angel of love. So I feel like, you know, I feel like someone jumped into a commitment very quickly. They jumped into a commitment very quickly and now they have to break someone's heart. But it's divinely guided to happen that way. Someone here is getting their heart broken and I feel like it's the person over here. So, uh, you know, someone here is being divinely guided <coughs> back to a commitment that once was. Spirit, what messages do we have here? What messages do we have here for Scorpio, please? Trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. We have very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Oh, okay, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Unrequited love and let your friends help you. So Scorpio, I feel like you're you're someone here is trusting their inner their their gut. They're trusting their intuition. They realize that they have to make a decision, and I feel like the decision is going to be: I need to separate myself from this person because I don't love this person over here. Uh, you know, I feel like someone here is going to you know ask friends or family members to help in this situation um, because someone is like you know I just don't love this person. I need to go back to the person that I love. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. Bye.